Well, be careful what you wish for, Republicans. You just might get it. You've been so insistent that tax rates on the wealthy not be raised. You are about to settle for a deal that likely raises them even more. That's because of what you are offering in return, a limit on deductions and special breaks that I think will raise taxes far more than simply reverting to Clinton-era rates. Here's why. Let's say you limit wealthier taxpayers' write-offs to no more than $50,000. I'm hearing that figure a lot. Fifty grand, that will be it. But not the potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars richer filers have been enjoying for years now. You don't have to be a 250 grand couple to see where this grand math is going. For the richer, nowhere fast. At a minimum, their effective tax rate jumps well beyond the old top Clinton rate of 39.6%. My gosh, limiting deductions to that degree could easily jack it up to 45%. And I'm not even including new taxes like that 3.8% surtax that top bracketeers will be forking over on their investments to pay for the new health care law. To say nothing of much higher capital gains and dividend rates awaiting them. Back to the napkin math on my part, a top federal rate that easily climbs to 55%, and when you throw in higher state taxes in many cities and states promising millionaire tax hikes that curiously affect not just millionaires, that brings us to 60%. That is 15 points higher than the top rate now. 15 points. This isn't specious math. Add it up, each and every tax hike you've heard talked about. It's very logical math. And all courtesy of Republican strategy hell-bent on ignoring math for fear of giving it on rates. So in their very admirable quest, I guess, to keep rates where they are, Republicans risk being schnookered by Democrats who know they've got their opponent's number. So blinded in their grand old quest to keep rates from moving up that the grand old party doesn't even see the other side as just taking them to the cleaners. We're going to be debating this a lot more tonight at 8 p.m. on Fox Business Network. I know you have a choice at that hour. You can watch The Factor. Um, but, you know, he repeats like 78 times. So you can still watch him uh, and watch me. Uh, I, I think I'm a very nice appetizer then. That's how I look at an appetizer. That if you were to do some online shopping, uh, I, I would be a good buy. And, and Dion knows a thing about cyber buys. Do you not? Demand it. Uh, no. I Why was are you not you supposed to be working on this hour. I was not doing And you were cyber. shopping. I was not. No, I yes, was you were. At, I was not doing anything. Yes, you were. Time. Spaghetti, look at that. <laughs> I was not. That's a, lap I, that's a laptop. No, it's not. No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's a sketch. Look. What? It's an extra sketch. What no, site were you on? I wasn't doing. You got to really demand Fox Business Network. VictoriaSecret.com? Yeah. Really? I, uh, I wasn't doing anything. Yeah. Is today Cyber Monday? <laughs> it, I wasn't. I wasn't. Demand it. Yeah, sure, there you go. All right, well.